right, this video is on how everything is always men's fault. When something fucked up happens to a man, you have no idea how many men and women we get to hear saying ignorant shit like, you shouldn't have been there. You shouldn't have been there. You shouldn't have been there. Like it's your fault that somebody chose to victimize you. Well, that's just stupid. When a woman gets raped, do we tell her she shouldn't have been there? No? Well, why not? Wouldn't that be equality? Wouldn't that be fair? That stuff doesn't just happen to women. It doesn't just happen to children. There's a... Uh, a lot of women that I've known throughout the years who, well, they just have a shitty taste in men. They pick men who are aggressive and then they get angry when that aggression is turned towards them. A great many of the women that I've spoken with in the last couple of years, well, their story is the same as the stories from before. The difference is I can't be there to help them. Of course, it's not my fault either. It's not my fault that they're in the situations that they're in because they wanted to manipulate. The first time I move you out of an abusive household, that's your fucking clue right there if it was such a dangerous goddamn situation that you needed to call Sean David Schwartz to come rescue your ass yeah maybe you should uh, think about that when you go back to him that's not my fault that's not my decision now if you want to do fucked up shit because you're in love with the dude who beats on you or who beats on your children or who molests your children. Well, that's all on you. It's not men's fault that you choose assholes. That is your fault. Your fault for going back. Now, I'm well aware that situational awareness is pretty important. Some of you, I know that you went back to your abusers because you couldn't afford it on your own. Meanwhile, you tell me about how you had to do it all on your own. No, you fucking haven't. No, you fucking haven't. There has always been people like me to rescue your ass. But you forget about me now, don't you? You forget about those other men who rescued your ass, don't you? That's right, it's all men's fault. It's all the fault of the penis. And any man who helped you out obviously is not a man in your mind. Because for helping you out, they get treated like shit. They get treated like they are the villain. Like they're the ones who hit you. Like they're the ones who abused you. Like they're the ones who spent your money on drugs. Meanwhile, you spent your money on drugs and it's all men's fault. Oh, you wouldn't be on drugs if your daddy hadn't raped you. Well, what did you do about your daddy raping you? Did you try to put him away? Did you speak out about it? Or did you let him do it to your little sister and your little brother? Did you let him just get away with it? That's what I want to know. Now, how can it be men's fault? Men's fault. Oh, this is a man's world. Like fucking hell it is. You see how the police treat men? It's fucking bullshit, especially when they're broke men. If you're a rich white guy like Donald Trump, well shit, you ain't got no problems. 
You got an army of lawyers doing do whatever the fuck you want. You got plenty of property to do whatever the fuck you want on. But the rest of us just ain't human to you. The rest of us just ain't human. Now I get to hear how women get paid less than men. Well, that might be true. Does that mean that I make less than you or more than you? No, it fucking doesn't. Poverty is fucking poverty. It doesn't matter if you have a penis or a vagina. It doesn't matter if you're red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, or fucking violet. It doesn't. Poverty is poverty. And victimizing the impoverished is what the United States is all about. We don't go after the bad guys. We go after the victims. The ones who are easiest to victimize. Now why are they easiest to victimize? Mostly because of financial status. It's too easy for the American government to make a few dollars off of the American people at the expense of the American people and the at the expense of people who grew up in the system people like me over 80 percent of the people in the jails and prisons are former foster children you age out at 18. You think to yourself, yeah, I'm going to bust my ass. I'm going to get on homeless. But nope. You don't even make it to a first paycheck. That's if you're lucky enough to get a job. You think it's so easy where you just snap your fingers and you got a job. Those of you who got a vehicle at 16 years old, you don't know what the hell it's about. And you never will. You say, oh, I did it all myself, I did it all myself. Really, truly, did you? Did you earn that vehicle while paying rent, paying utilities? Did you? Or did your summer job end up getting spent just on you? My summer job back in high school paid for me and my siblings to eat food. Not to do drugs, not to get all fucking drunk, not to buy a new vehicle or a used vehicle. Nope, it was spent for feeding myself and my siblings. You're damn right I'm gonna speak out. I'm tired of hearing about how everything in your fucking life is men's fault. Bitch, I rescued you, Miss Jerry. I rescued you seven times. Seven times I rescued your dumb ass. <clears throat> what did that mean to you? It didn't mean shit. When it all came down to it, you just wanted somebody to be mean to like everybody else. You wanted somebody to take your aggressions out on like everyone else. Well, I place my aggressions properly. If I'm pissed off at you, you did something wrong. You need to repent. Now, I know a bunch of you don't believe in the Jesus. So I'm fine with that. I know a lot of you do believe in the Jesus, and you guys are fucking idiots. It's not that there was never such a thing as Jesus. It's that none of you fucking people know the dude. He died almost 2,000 years ago. And you guys are being judgmental assholes in his name, something that he was expressly against. But then again, it don't matter, do it. Poor people aren't human to you. Now I hear Black Lives Matters and all their fucking bullshit, and it is bullshit. Black Lives Matters does not give a holy fucking goddamn about you unless you are black and in a house. See, they don't be picking up none of those uh, homeless black folk cases, do they? 
They don't give a holy fucking goddamn. And see, that's what the problem is with the world. We're all getting fucked in the same way, and you want to pretend it's just your goddamn group, you fucking moron. It ain't just your group, we're all getting fucked. And your excuse is why other people fucking deserve it is the reason that you fucking deserve it. If you think that white people who are getting screwed have it coming because of the color of their skin, then you're a racist asshole. And when you have to deal with the repercussions of being a racist asshole, that's on you. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care what your gender is. I care about how you treat other human beings. Now, when somebody doesn't do what you want, there's probably a fucking reason for it. If you want somebody to drive to Scott's Bluff to go to a fucking appointment that's not going to do any goddamn good, that's fine. You can have your fucking opinion. But here's the thing, if I don't have a vehicle to get Scott's Bluff to your fucking appointment, well, I can't very well follow your guidelines and your ideas, can I? No, I can't. I don't blame women for rapists. I don't. But I do blame our society for reciprocating rape for reciprocating the rape society. Now, physically, it's not the only way that you can rape somebody. You can rape somebody financially. Pretty easy to do, matter of fact. I've been raped financially repeatedly. But it's okay. Because I'm a man. And I must have chose it. It must be my decision for people to do the terrible things that they do to me. Well, that's just not the case. People get away with doing the terrible things that they do to me because people don't fucking care. They care about their own bullshit, but that's it. There's a lot of people who offered to help me and just never fucking followed through come to find out most of them are heroin addicts. A good majority of them are heroin addicts. That's not a choice that I made. For a lot of these people, it surprised the shit out of me to find out that they're all strung out on that shit. Of course, most of these people I never met in person. Now, I want you to remember something. I want you to remember, while you're hating on all men, Remember that I, I, Sean Schwartz, never molested you. I, Sean Schwartz, never raped you. I, Sean Schwartz, came to your rescue when you needed it. So you go ahead and keep your shitty goddamn ideas. You're a fucking moron. You want to blame all men because you made bad decisions? You made the decision to go to that party. You made the decision to put those drugs in your arms. You made those decisions. When bad men did bad shit to you because you put yourself into that position, I want you to remember that I'm not the one that took advantage of you. The man who did that has a name. For Alicia Bollinger, that man's name is Ted. Fuck that dude. 